guys, this is Lenka Katslova from growwithlenka.com. I was trying to broadcast from my laptop right now, but I had no idea if I'm live or not. My, my laptop totally froze, so hopefully this time that's going to be better. I had to go to my smartphone and do it my old way, it's something that works for me. So today I want to talk to you about uh, activities that actually are kind of like time wasters. So they waste your time. Uh, they are not activities that help your business, that will leverage your business, and they will definitely slow you down. So guys, uh, those of you who don't know me, my name is Lenka Katzlova and I help entrepreneurs, business owners, affiliate and network marketers to build and leverage their online businesses. I help them with their brand and become influencers in their niche so they can do what they love and live their dream lifestyle. Today's topic are time wasters. It's weekend, so I thought it's a great topic to actually go over. And uh, I prepared seven of them. Seven that I think are like the biggest ones. Ones that uh, most of us actually, time to time, um, do them. So guys, first one. I think that the, that one is for my mom partners out there. Uh, it's something that I personally do, something that I have a huge problem with, actually. And uh, it's something to think about, you know. Uh, it's not something that I, you know, I would say just go and do it, but just think about it. I think that for us mompreneurs, with the women, the women entrepreneurs, it's very hard uh, to actually let someone take over our house. The chores that we have, like cleaning the house, ironing, like everything around that, it takes hours, like so many hours per week that we could build our business with. You know, if you pay someone to do that for us, it's not that expensive to actually have someone to do that for us, even though, even though you have, uh, you know, you struggle with your finances at this point. And, uh, um, you know, it, it, and I have personally problem with that, like really that someone else should do it for me, that I'm not able to do it myself, but we are not super women. You know, men, men wouldn't do that. Men have, men have us to do that. So uh, think about really having someone to help you with this because that takes so much time. Hey guys, <laughs> how are you? How was your weekend? So, uh, you know, think about the chores around the house, but you can actually get someone, uh, you know, help you with it because that is such a time waster. I'm sorry I'm saying that, but it is, it takes up a huge amount of hours per week. So um, try to get some help maybe because this is not helping your business. You could spend the hours, especially if you're struggling with, with the time you have kids, uh, then these hours you could be spending much more wisely. Hey James, hey great you made it. So that's number one for my mom partners especially. Number two, uh, number two is a little bit, um, a little bit for people that um, need to more focus. You know, um, number, uh, number two is actually hunting um, someone who's interested or or a big sale something you cannot get hung up on one thing you know you need uh, to have more fish maybe like in that sea I would say it like that you know you need uh, a bigger net a bigger net of people who are interested so if you are doing high ticket offer uh, especially for affiliate marketers or with someone who's selling a product that uh, is really high ticket one then don't just focus on selling that one. You know, you, you have a person who's interested or you have a business who would use your product and you get so hung up on that sale. It takes maybe days, weeks, or maybe even months to close that sale. And, you know, if you make it, then you get a, a huge commission. You have amazing business that, and you would, it would like really <laughs> skyrocket you to some new place. Hey, Jack, follow. <laughs> and um, I wouldn't really be focusing on this thing. And I made that mistakes when I was uh, starting in sales, like in 2008, 9, maybe even 10. 
that I had huge contracts ahead of me because I was doing B2B business to business. I had huge contracts with these amazing companies and I would work like six, nine, 12 months on that contract. And when it worked out, it was excellent. But when it didn't, then I have wasted so much time with those people and I didn't get anything out of that because no contract, no money. So um, this works in, in our businesses right here as well. So for each person, for each high ticket product maybe that I would concentrate on or some, some leader or someone important that you want to concentrate on to actually get them into your business, I would have like 10, maybe even 20 small ones because those are the ones that will keep you going every single time because if you don't do this, you will get out of business very soon. You will struggle because you will, it will take so much of your time on that one big thing that may not work out in the end. So make sure you have bigger, like your net of, of maybe prospects or customers is big enough to actually keep you going. So that's another thing. Third one is actually blame. You know, that comes maybe <laughs> if this big thing doesn't work out. You know, you can blame a lot of other people. You can blame uh, the circumstances. You can, you know, like really, I, I cannot believe they, they've done this to me, you know. But that's just blaming another one, like someone else. Or um, especially when like in the morning you get some kind of negative, negative feedback or someone you've been following you up with many times, they tell you they're not going to join you or they're not going to buy your product. So you get disappointed and you know, you have that blind position. Don't really stack on it because then like, especially like when it's in the morning, it goes with you the whole day or you're still thinking about it and you're wasting your time because you could put really the great energy that you have into something that would work. So really make sure that um, even though it, does, it doesn't feel so much important that your head, your mindset uh, is uh, on, on the right spot, that you're not blaming anyone, you don't have any negative feelings that are holding you back, you're not thinking about something you, weren't, you, were, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be uh, thinking about. So next one, fourth one, very important turn off your notification on your phone. Absolutely every single one. Only thing that you need to uh, have on are, are missed calls and your messages. Everything else from internet, from online stuff, from applications, it should be turned off. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of IRG accounts. Uh, I have several pages on, uh, on Facebook groups and, and stuff like that. Uh, emails, you know, a lot of emails. If everything that I have would give me a notification when something changes, I would have maybe even several notifications per second, you know, that would be, it would be constantly notifying me about something. So may, uh, I don't know about you, but I turned off everything, really everything, because when I want to, I will go and check it out, you know, by very few clicks, I'm in the application, I, I can check you know, Messenger, I, I can check IG, uh, uh, Instagram. <laughs> I, I'm often like really making the abbreviation for Instagram as IG. So, uh, so really, uh, don't, don't, and if, if you have them, don't check them so much because really it just notifies you, you go check your phone and you were con you've been just concentrating on something else it distracts a lot and often it's not that important you know uh it really is not if, if if you need to concentrate and you it should be on your schedule if it's not on your schedule don't do it if you want to uh if you want to talk to people on messenger you should have time on your schedule when you do this activity you know really schedule everything that you do uh, the same thing with uh, posts on facebook or instagram you don't want to go every single time Facebook notifies you that someone liked your post or commented your post. You can just go once an hour and really give it a five, 10 minutes and answer all the engagement, you know, don't just stop what you're doing and go answering that, go answer that comment. 
you will never have anything done. <laughs> Think, uh, great, you like it, James. <laughs> so, notifications. Another thing, TV. If you still watch TV, uh, I highly recommend to just stop paying your cable because that way nothing will be on, nothing interesting, and you stop watching it. So, TV is very, you know, I always say that if you know the latest shows on TV, then you watch too much of it. I really have no idea. I turn it on only because of my kids that uh, they want to watch some, some really cartoon sometime, you know, that they are tired or like before their bed, I, uh, I, 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 sh uh, I let them watch something so they can just calm down after the whole day. But we are not a TV family, actually, you know, we, we haven't been, we haven't had TV for many years. I didn't have it for a long time. When I met my husband, we didn't have it for a long time. Now with kids, we actually did purchase one, but we don't watch it anyway. You know, there's nothing on it. So uh, I highly recommend if you, if you uh, don't pay for the cable, you will not watch it. So TV is, is totally a oh, huge time waster. And we all know that. <laughs> James what you yeah you would be surprised how many you know I actually uh, and that's the next point actually <laughs> uh, that uh, using using social media in an effective way that's the next point that I have uh, I went through the feed which I didn't which I shouldn't be doing I went through the feed and there was a few actually a few I think like three or four uh, posts about what's on TV, you know, what people are watching because it's Saturday night. Okay, hold on. It's moving. Saturday night and people were watching TV and they were they've been posting on Facebook what's on. That 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 was like crazy. So that was one of the reasons that why I actually wanted to do this uh do this video. So uh non-effective Next one, non effective use of social media. That's exactly what I did, just going through the feed of Instagram, of Facebook, of YouTube, watching some, some music videos, just or some fun videos. You know, um, that's something, again, if it's not helping your business, you shouldn't be doing it. If it's on business hours that you should be scheduling every single day. So if it doesn't help, don't do it. Uh, and I have a great tip. Uh, if you if you see yourself doing something that is that time same work or something, um, excuse me, something that doesn't help your business really uh, leverage to to next level, I highly recommend do twenty foot push ups. Every single time you find yourself doing something you shouldn't be doing or that it's not on your schedule, something that is not in your schedule, that's even better because that way you will learn and actually build that habit of scheduling the activities. And I talk about that all the time on my videos. If you find yourself doing something else that is on your schedule, do 20 push-ups. And I bet that first few days your arms are going to hurt a lot. It did to me. <laughs> so... Uh, and that's it. That's it. And chats. Chats, maybe. Um, that, that's a little thing that I had written down here. Um, chats, uh, especially on, on, on Facebook, maybe. Facebook Messenger. Chats that are not really business oriented or something that is not, again, helping your business. You're not discussing something that will help you. Chats with friends or maybe picking up phone when your friends are calling. You should be scheduled. You should have scheduled your activities as 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 business hours really meeting after meeting call after call and and the activity that will you will do throughout the day and if your friend calls you can pick it up but say that you really are working on something you need to get something done for your business and you call them later and call them after you do what's scheduled so those are my tips for or not tips, but really time waste time wasters uh, that you should maybe focus on uh, something that I think uh, that is stopping us the most um, right now, like throughout the day, maybe especially on weekends, we have a lot of distractions. Uh, so that's something that 
we should get rid of and really do the push-ups if it's not on your schedule do the push-ups uh, uh, for that activity so my time saver my freebie for this video uh, is, uh, is a training how to use Facebook Live to build your business, how to get your leads, how to, how to leverage Facebook Live to build your business. So I'm going to put a link to that training over this video and down in the comments so uh, you, can, uh, you can check it out. It's a free training and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> it's Sunday. It was very hard for me to broadcast today, actually, because uh, because it's late, it's almost, I think it's almost midnight right, right here and I put my kids to bed and it was so hard to actually not to go to bed myself but I was consistent, it wasn't my schedule <laughs> so uh, I did it and I'm proud of myself today because it was really hard today and guys, talk to you tomorrow, I will let you know what time I will broadcast, probably the same time uh, I either do it during afternoons when my kids are asleep or like this light when they still asleep. So great to have you. Hey Angel, I'm actually wrapping up. So uh, nice talking to you. Great you have made it. James, you were great. Thanks for the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.